Hi, my name is Dr. Jay Desai and I welcome you all to this 10th video on gate series for metallurgical engineering. In this video, I am talking about diffusion, types, mechanisms and activation energy. There are three types of diffusion, volume diffusion, green boundary diffusion and surface diffusion. In volume diffusion, species move from one regular or interstitial site to another. And this movement occurs within the crystal and that is why it is called as volume diffusion. The second type of diffusion is grain boundary diffusion. Here, the species move through grain boundaries, which are the highly disordered network which separates different grains. And the third type of diffusion is surface diffusion, where species move through the surface of the material. Now, let's talk about the activation energy for these types of diffusion. So, the activation energy is the energy required by the species to move from one position to another. And since it is relatively easier for species to move within the or uh, through the surface, the activation energy for surface diffusion is lowest. It is relatively harder for species to move through the grain boundaries. And that is why the activation energy for grain boundary diffusion is slightly higher than the surface diffusion. Then it is most hard for species to move within the crystal. And that is why the activation energy for volume diffusion is the highest. Since volume diffusion has highest amount of activation energy or volume diffusion requires the highest amount of activation energy, the diffusion rate for volume diffusion is very low. And uh, diffusion rate for grain boundary diffusion is moderate and diffusion rate for surface diffusion is highest since lowest activation energy is required for this kind of diffusion to occur. Now, let's talk about the mechanisms of diffusion. There can be two types of diffusion or two types of diffusion mechanisms. One is vacancy diffusion. Here, what happens is vacancy is moving in one direction and the atoms are moving in opposite direction. Suppose, you have this host or substitutional atom and there is a vacancy over here and the vacancy moves from here to here and the atom moves from here to here. So this kind of diffusion is what we call as vacancy diffusion. In the interstitial diffusion, the interstitial atoms move from one side to another. Suppose before diffusion, the interstitial atom is over here. And after diffusion, the interstitial atom goes over here. Then this type of diffusion is called as interstitial diffusion. Or this mechanism of diffusion is called as interstitial diffusion. Now, we talked about the activation energy. Activation energy is the thermal energy that species require to overcome a thermal barrier and move from one position to another. This activation energy for vacancy diffusion is very high as compared to the activation energy for interstitial diffusion. This is because it is relatively easier for species to move from one interstitial position to another because the displacement is very low. But it is very hard for species to move from one position to another position through vacancy diffusion. That is why it requires a higher amount of activation energy. This is all I have for this video. To watch more videos and support my work, please subscribe to my channel. In the next video, I will be talking about diffusion, that is fixed first law and fixed second law. And if the viewers and subscribers have some topic suggestions, they're welcome to type in the comment section. For suggestions, queries on the content or for possible openings and collaborations, please uh, contact me on LinkedIn, email or by commenting in the YouTube video. Thank you.